There are all kinds of lead magnets that you could create in Canva. Like so many possibilities, tons of ideas for any kind of business. Hey there, I'm Kate Danielle, a Canva certified creative and online entrepreneur. And today I'm gonna to be talking all about creating freebies and lead magnets in Canva and give you a few ideas to help you brainstorm. But first, I was recently asked a question of how you decide when to make something a freebie. I've been talking a lot about creating ebooks and how they make great digital products or great opt-ins, great lead magnets. And someone asked, well, how do you know when you make it a product and when it's a freebie? And they really, the answer is it just depends on you and your goals. Now, of course, it also depends on the value of information. Like if you made a really, really short, like couple page ebook, then maybe that's going to be more for a lead magnet. But when you look at all the different digital products and lead magnets online, you can find some of like the same products such as Canva templates. I have a lead magnet of a small set of Canva templates, but I also sell Canva templates. You can find things that are passive products for some businesses and that are freebies for others. So it really just depends on the goals of your business and the actions you want your audience to take. I also said it kind of depends on how much you value your information and yes and no because something could be a really valuable freebie ebook or guide or whatever we're going to talk about the different types of things you can create um, but you decide to make it a really attractive enticing lead magnet to skyrocket your list because you have a product that is even better bigger and better so Again, I know it's not an easy answer, but it just depends on your goals and the actions you are leading your audience to take. Okay, so let's jump into some ideas. Before we do, be sure to hit subscribe and that like button for more videos like this one. I have tons of lead magnet ideas for you and I'm going to go through some of them here in the video, but you want a full list of just ideas to help you brainstorm click over to the link below and it will take you to the blog post that goes with this video like i've already mentioned i've been talking a lot about ebooks so let's look at that kind of first category if you want to make an ebook that's a lead magnet maybe you take your most uh popular three blog posts combine those together into a nice ebook or you take your most popular blog post and expand on it more in an ebook uh, you can do case studies, you can do myths, you can do like kind of like a getting started guide. Like what does someone need before they start working on with you, not on you, <laughs> before they start working on you, before your customers start working with you, what do they need to know? So for me, it might be that in order to best use my products and templates, they need their branding. So maybe I create an ebook on DIYing your brand, something like that. Uh, my second example is some kind of guide similar to an ebook, um, same format really, but it's going to either guide them through something or be kind of like a list of resources. So think gift guides. And even if you're not like a blogger that's talking about the best Christmas presents, you know, for 2021, you, it could be like a gift guide for whatever your niche is. So maybe since I um, target other online business owners, maybe I have a gift guide for uh, creative entrepreneurs, creative online entrepreneurs. It could be a favorite tools guide or favorite resources that you've used. And bonus with these is that you can add in a affiliate links if you have any. My next example is a cookbook and while this category seems very specific to food bloggers uh, you could also use the cookbook theme I've seen like a um, like a blogging recipes type ebook guide or you know it can be the most popular recipes on your blog uh, it could be in essential oil recipes uh, a, like and like I was saying, you can kind of think out of the box. Think of cookbook as like a formula. So it can be like your formula for great YouTube videos. It's a it's a really good way, one, if you're in, if you are a food blogger or sell food type products, 
but if you're not it's kind of a good way to think out of the box if you use like a cookbook formula type theme next is a workbook this is really great if you have kind of different entry levels within your products maybe you have a workbook that helps your audience determine what level they're at whether they need to be in sort of your getting started products or maybe your growth products or what you know however your products are tiered you're going to have people that want to enter at different times so you can help them figure that out and grow your list at the same time you could turn your your zone of genius whatever you talk about into an action taking uh workbook so for example back to my um diy your brand maybe it's not just an ebook it's a workbook where they're actually can fill in and go through the exercises to figure out their colors and fonts and then of course there are things like um, self-improvement workbooks or a guided journal it really just depends on your topic but a workbook is a really great way to kind of get some interaction in with your audience next i have cheat sheets these are great quick opt-ins that you can make in canva is they can be like a one-page reference guide so maybe you have like a, a cheat sheet cheat sheet that's hard for me to say um a resource a one-page resource of like basic essential oils and their uses like the ones that you use most often a measurement cooking cheat sheet or um you know any kind of quick tips you can provide i get uh, like an ingredient switch not just to keep thinking about cooking but anything like a one page reference like the anatomy of a great pen or something like that and then next of course you can make templates in canva i make templates as i'm a graphic designer but if you're not a graphic designer you can still kind of use templates as a lead magnet if it fits in with your niche and product so for example if you teach people how to give really great presentations then maybe you have a uh, presentation templates or may, if you um aren't necessarily a graphic designer but you teach people how to write engaging social media content and maybe you create a set of done for you social media templates all right one of my favorite categories of lead magnets or just printables in general that you can make in canva is planners or organizational type printables that people can download if it's for a lead magnet i wouldn't necessarily make a full on planner but you can make maybe like a one page day planner or a social media planner or some kind of habit tracker but again you can make like if you um teach people how to get engagement and post consistently on social media and maybe you have a service or a course or products and maybe you do have a whole entire social media planner that you offer for a freebie it just all depends on again the actions that you want your audience to take lead magnets can also make really great products so you know these these ideas aren't limited to just lead magnets but in this video we're talking about lead magnets that you can create in canva and then my last category i have is to make some kind of quote art if you um, talk a lot about motivation or mindset or any kind of um you know lingo that you use often or that your audiences own you could like make it up into a nice motivational quote that they can share on instagram or maybe a set of quotes you can make a printable quote that they can download and print or maybe like a desktop or phone uh, wallpaper that they can save something like that and um, those can kind of be just quick pretty downloads that people save and share and it's kind of a win-win if you're creating something that they also want to share that has your branding on it i zoom through like several different categories there like i mentioned i'm going to have a blog post you can find the link below that's going to give um, all the different examples and even more under each category to just really help you brainstorm the different kinds of link magnets freebies, opt-ins, whatever you call them in Canva to help grow your email list. And if you haven't even started an email list yet, no worries. Check out uh, this video that will pop up somewhere above where I talk about getting started with the email um, service provider that I use. And be sure to, to give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button for more business tips 
and Canva videos like this one. Remember to work smarter, not harder, and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.